Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you check the box that says discourage search engines from indexing this site. And to show you the one I mean is we covered this one a lot before in the past, but under settings and then reading, there is an option under search engine visibility where you can tell search engines to not index your site and then click on save changes and then there's a robots.txt file that's created or added to that discourage search engines from indexing. And as the message below says, they may or may not actually honor your request, but stuff does still happen if you check that box. So I did this on, on this site, the demo site, and believe it or not, it gets quite a bit of traffic. I'm not sure why, I guess from all these videos. So I checked this box and I asked Google and search engines not to index the site. They honor my request and traffic tanked. Just to show you what happened, if we go over to the analytics over here, I did this just over uh, the holiday break in 2016, early 2017. And if we go to the week view for our traffic, we see that we're pretty steady. Uh, well, that's not a full week. So if, hang on, let's just change. Let's go back to November, have some more historical data. So it's pretty steady. Again, this first one's not a full week. So we're, we're pretty steady with the traffic. 833 sessions, 920, 972, we're all pretty steady. And then right around here, at the end of this week, I checked that box and saved it. And then the very next week, we're down to 312 sessions, which is less than a third of what we had a month before that. And it's less than half of what our long-term average is for this site. And again, it's not a site where it produces a lot of content. It's just, uh, there are some pages that are indexed. And I guess people come from these videos and Google indexed it, who knows? But either way, we get a bunch of traffic and it just tanked when I checked that box. And then I unchecked it again. So I, I told search engines to not index the site around here somewhere, traffic tanked. I told search engines over here at the beginning of January, first week of January, to index the site. I unchecked that box, saved it. Now they're allowed to index it. And the good news is the traffic recovers. So as you can see, it goes up steadily. And last week was 709, which is right around where it was on average before I did that experiment. So there's two things to learn here. The first is if you want traffic to your site, do not have that box checked. The second is if that box is checked, it's not the end of the world. Just go and uncheck it, save the page and your traffic will recover. Now there is a caveat. The longer that box is checked, the longer it will take for your site to recover. So here I only had it checked for about a week. If you had it checked for six months or a year and you're not sure why your traffic is so low and you discovered that setting is checked, it'll take a long time to recover that your search rankings if you haven't had any before then. Uh, but if it if you do, if you're on analytics and you see dips in traffic and you're not sure why, double check that uh, that option. So if you do experiments like this or you have traffic anomalies and you know what caused them, it's a good idea to label it in Google Analytics. For example, along here, traffic's all pretty constant and then doosh, just dies right there. Now I know why it happened, but two years from now, I might look back at historical data and I might be scratching my head as to what on earth happened here. So, so that doesn't happen, I'm gonna add a note by clicking on this little down arrow. Uh, as we can see over here, we actually had um, two notes right here. In motion suspended the site due to brute force attack and the cron script was running out of control and traffic tanked, suspension was lifted the day after, traffic went back up. And this is the demo site, so Somebody tried to brute force the demo site. They didn't actually get in, but they did cause uh, the host to be concerned about uh, server use. So they suspended the account till I did some stuff to fix the problem. So uh, up here, we're gonna, on the date of December 22nd, I'm gonna add a new annotation by clicking here. December 22, uh, checked the discourage search engines from indexing this site box. I'm gonna click on save. And then it was, I believe it was right here, the 31st. So 
So December 31st, I was going to copy this. I unchecked that box. And now in the future, I will know just like this dip right here. If, if I didn't open this annotation right now, I could not have told you what this dip was from, but I wrote it in there. So and now I remember because, oh yeah, I remember that happened. But had I not had an annotation there, I'd have been scratching my head. So I recommend you do these annotations if you do use Google Analytics, which you should, because it's free and it's awesome. And it just helps you stay organized, helps you remember why certain things happened. So to recap, go and make sure that the discourage search engines from indexing the site checkbox is not checked on your site. Do it right now, and I hope this video helps you. Um, double check that yours is unchecked. Do it right now. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we publish WordPress tutorials every single day. Talk to you soon.